Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1, 2, 3. Through this video, we are going to master one important mathematical tool, which is nothing but how to easily and accurately find out the square of any perfect squares. Through one of our previous videos, we have already discussed how to find out the square of two digit numbers in an easier and quicker way. Hope all of you might have watched it and mastered that tool. If not, please do visit my channel and watch the video on how to find out the square of any two digit numbers. Now, after watching this video, I'm very, very sure that all of you will be able to find out the answers of these like of perfect squares within no time. To start with, I know most of you, not most of you, all of you will be knowing the square of numbers from 1 to 10, right? 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square 25, 6 square 36, 7 square 49, 8 square 64, 9 square 81 and 10 square is 100. Now, when you observe these squares closely, let's look at the numbers coming in the ones place. 1 square is 1 and 9 square is 81. Both of them are ending with 1. The square of 2 and 8 are ending with 4. Square of 3 and 7 are ending with 9. Square of 4 and 6 are ending with 6. Square of 5 is ending with 5. So here there is a clue. The first step of finding the square root of perfect squares is if your question is ending with 1, your answer will be either ending with 1 or with 9. To remember this, there is another technique. 9 is nothing but 10 minus 1, right? If your question is ending with 4, the answer will end with 2 or 8. Question ends with 9 means answer will be ending with 3 or 7. Question ends with 6 means your answer will be ending either with 4 or with 6. If your question is ending with 5, your answer will definitely end with 5. And if your question is ending with 0, and your answer will also be ending with 0. Hope you will keep this thing in your mind. Now, with an example, I will show you what are the steps to be followed to find out the square root. The first step is group them into two. Root of 1764 means group the number, group the question into group of two digits. That is 17 is one group and 64 is the second group. Look at the number coming in the ones place. Ones place the number is four. So which means your answer should either end with two or with eight. Clear? Now look at the first pair. First pair is 17. Now, what is the perfect square which is coming below 17? 17 is obviously not a perfect square, but 16 is a perfect square which is coming below 17. Root of 16 is 4. So you got two choices of your answer. The answer of root of 1764 will be either 42 or 48. To choose the correct answer out of these two choices, you have to do the next step. Next step is the succeeding number of 4 is 5, right? Multiply 4 with 5. 4 fives are 20. Now compare it with your first pair. 17 is less than 20. Since 17 is less than 20, you have to choose the lowest from the choice. 42 and 48, lowest answer is 42, right? So root of 1764 is going to be 42. Clear? We will do more questions, more practice questions so that time taken to solve these questions has to be reduced. And finally, you should keep the time and see that you're able to find the answer in three seconds or less than three seconds. Shall we go to the next question? It is root of 3,364. The first step is group it into 2, 33 and 64. 
the last digit is 4, which means your answer should end with 2 or with 8. 33. The perfect square coming below 33 is 25. 25 is square of 5. So which means you got two choices, either 52 or 58. Now to choose the correct answer, multiply 5 with its succeeding number. Succeeding number is 6, 30. And compare 33 with 30. Since 33 is greater than 30, the greatest number should be your answer. So root of 3364 is nothing but 58. Hope everybody understood what are the procedures to be done. Now, to increase your speed, I will give you more practice questions. Do along with me and see that you are able to beat me in the time. You will have to do it faster than me. 5,625. The answer is, question is ending with 5, which means your answer should be end with 5. 56 means the perfect square coming below 56 is 49 and square, square root of 49 is 7. And since there is only one option, don't worry. This is your answer. You don't have to do the next step. 75 root of 5625 is nothing but 75. Let's look into another question. Practice. Increase your speed and see that you are able to solve it in 3 seconds or less than 3 seconds. 68 and 89. Ending with 9 means your answer should be either end with 3 or with 7. 68 means 64 is the perfect square coming below 68. It is square of 8. So your answer will be either 83 or 87. To choose the correct answer out of this, multiply 8 with its succeeding number 9. 8 nines are 72. When you compare 68 is less than 72, which means lesser will be the answer. Root of 6,889 will be 83. If I give you more questions, root of 5,041. Hope you started enjoy doing it, right? 41 means your answer should end either with 1 or with 9. 50 means 70... Sorry, 49 is a perfect square below 50 and it is square of 7. So your answer will be either 71 or 79. Now multiply 7 with 8, it is 56. And when you compare 50 is less than 56, which means your answer should be the lowest. 71 will be the answer. Root of 5041 is 71. 9216. Ending with 6 means your answer will be either end with 4 or with 6. 92, the perfect square below 92 is 81. It is square of 9. So the choices you got as 94 or 96. Now you see multiply 9 with its succeeding number 10. 90, and when you look at 92, 92 is greater than 90. So your answer will be 96, the greatest number. You want to solve more questions? Please do practice with this and comment the answers to me. Hope all of you will be trying to do this and take much more perfect square numbers and do practice and increase the speed with which you can solve the answers. Hope all of you will be commenting the answers of these questions. These are the homework questions. Okay. Now I'm going to show you one another number, a special number, root of 1000. 296. Can you try to do this question with the technique which we have already learned? That is, split it into group of two digit numbers, 12 and 96. Since the answer is ending with 6, your answer will be either ending with 4 or with 6. Now, 12. The perfect square below 12 is 9 and root of 9 is 3. So you got two choices, 34 or 36. To see which one is the correct option, you have to multiply 3 with 4. 3 fours are 12. It's not less, not great. It is equal, right? 3 into 4 is equal to 12, which means the number 1296 is an exception for this method. This technique cannot be used to find out the square root of this number 
and there is no other shortcut available to find out the square root of the number 1296. So there is no other go. You just have to study that root of this number is 36. Study this as it is or you do the normal method of finding square root of any number you have studied in class, right? So 1296 is an exception for this technique and its square is 36. Hope you all enjoyed watching this and mastered this technique and you will like to do with more practice questions, I hope. Thank you for watching. Have a great day to all of you. We will meet again with much more easy math tricks and easier physics topics. Thank you once again for watching and keep watching my channel.